When you get off exit 41 here in Laurel County, one of the first things you'll notice as far as damage goes is this hotel sign that's just bent all the way over right there about halfway up. But if you walk over to the sign, you'll notice it's really not damaged all that badly. It's mainly just the pole that was holding it up. Even so, the people who work here say it'll likely take a lot of money to fix all this. Sometimes you gotta fight wind with more wind. But that leaf blower won't do much for this. Let's see, camera, there we go. And there's the damage. It's just funny the way it's laying where it's been over. That storm came through around 7.30 last night. And I could see fingers coming out of the clouds, look like small wind storms. And it left its mark up and down Highway 80 around exit 41 in Laurel County. It knocked out all the uh, one side of the street and the other side of the street had lights and we couldn't find a place to eat last night. There's a lot of work to do up on the roof at Budget Host Inn. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this. This is damaged a lot worse than I thought. The metal was just rolled up and hanging over on the, other, on the front end of it. We've got all that gone. Between that roof and the sign out front, it won't be cheap. Probably looking at $30,000, $35,000 on a roof damage. We have a high rise sign over there. It's probably in the same neighborhood. No one was hurt out here. They're thankful for that. Now they just want to get things back to normal. We've been lucky over the years and not really had any real damage. This is the first time we've ever had this kind of damage. In Laurel County, Sean Moody, WKYT.